Hi everyone, Barnaby here again from Electric Car Converts on this 1985 Land Rover 90 build. Um, so last time we saw each other, I was cleaning this engine bay. We had the engine out. Um, we've had a bit of time now to really get things spick and span because tidiness, cleanliness is all is very important in an electric conversion, especially with us. Um, so we've got the engine out. We've got the radiator out. We've got all the bits and bobs around the engine, such as the starter motor, the alternator, things like that, are all out. And we're left with the heater unit, the windscreen washers, and the brake system. We've also got the steering rack here. Um, but other than that, we've got the engine out, we've got the fuel tank out, we've got the exhaust pipe and all that stuff out. Um, and it means we've got a lot of space for batteries in this area and for the electric motor here. So you'll notice that we've kept the um, original gearbox as it is. This is going to have a, an adapter plate and the electric motor strapped to it. Um, but most importantly, everything's tidy. So you'll see all the original wiring loom is, has been left, but it's all strapped up nice and tidy. We've actually painted the bulkhead here so that it all looks really good. Because when you've opened the bonnet and you've got a fantastic batteries and electric motor in here we want everything else to sort of look the part and look great so that's why our brake system's been painted the chassis being painted the steering racks painted so is this heater box we want everything spick and span but we also want to protect everything from rust so this is special metal paint um which is which is rust proof corrosion proof just to stop these old bits of steel and um, corroding and rusting and putting all our hard work to shame. So everything we use at Electric Car Converts comes over from America. Um, we import it, so whether that be the, the motor, all the parts around it, such as the DC to DC converter, chargers, controllers, things like that. Obviously the batteries are out of Teslas, so that's all American as well. But it does mean that things get delayed. Now, the reason I've had so much time to really paint this and make it absolutely perfect is because all of our stuff has been delayed um, in customs on its way in from America. Um, that's all getting here this week. So we are now in a very good position to go straight into the actual electrics and into the conversion. We don't want to, we don't want to skimp on these things. I, if I hadn't have painted this or made sure that everything was restored and neat in here nicely, I'd be annoyed with myself because sort of once you're going forward with the electric with the electric stuff you can't really go back um so we want to make sure everything is completely ready to go spend the time do the paint do the cleanliness get everything just so so when the electrics arrive it's really time to go so the preparation's done we're ready to start moving um, and in the next episode you're going to see some parts arriving so that's that's very exciting um, and we'll talk you through the rest of this build Thanks very much for subscribing, guys. Remember to like, comment if you've got any questions. I'm always happy to speak to anyone. Um, you know, give us a call, talk about your conversion. There's so many things to think about. Um, and, you know, why, why not pick up the phone? Let us know. Send us an email. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.